So 2021 coming to a close means that Spotify is there to tell you how to feel. In fact, you may have received your audio aura, your words that wrap up the year, that tell you who you are. And according to mine, I am a 14 year old girl who's just been broken up with. And my audio aura is yearning and wistful, basically just like a, just one long Rebecca Black video about how it's Friday, Friday something something Friday. Gosh, I really wish I hadn't seen that video. What was the rest of the lyrics for that? It was like Friday. If you have received your audio aura, you may have realized that you are not easily encapsulated by said words. You are not, for instance, energetic and calm or hyped and focused. You might be, say, devastated by the losses of the previous year and also joyful about possibilities in the future. The idea that we are more than one thing, more than two things, is not words that our culture gives us, especially since we typically tend to be crowded over on the like happy side of the emotional spectrum. So maybe it might be a nice time to give yourself some opposites. If you are like me, wistful and yearning, which sort of honestly feel like synonyms, maybe you could be something else. Maybe I could be wistful, but also hopeful. I could be someone who is in this moment working on constructing gingerbread megachurches uh, to, <laughs> to pay tribute to the work I do on megachurches, but also uh, be um, spending a lot of time in the hospital and with friends who are sick. So let's give ourselves our both and, our wistful and our hyped, our calm, and maybe not our focused, but in all things all of who we are. I wanna know what words were given to you or what two words you would assign for yourself. And I would love it if they were not synonyms. Feel free to be all of the things. Let me know below.